Hi everyone, I'm Frank from the City of Games and today I'm playing One Deck Dungeon. Now this is a one to two player game, so it does have a full solo mode, but I actually quite enjoy just playing the two player version of it. I like to have characters that bounce off each other. So today's playthrough, I'm gonna be playing the two player mode. The game is set up and it's a small game. As you can see, there's not much to it. We've got some dice, some tokens, a deck of cards, and a couple of characters. There's a bunch of different characters we can use. There's a bunch of different places we can go to. We're going to the Dragon's Cave, and we need to fight through three floors of cards. So each deck of cards represents a floor, and when we get to the bottom of the deck, we're gonna shuffle it and we'll move down to the next floor. As we move through floors, there's extra abilities we're gonna have to deal with. Now, as we have turns, we're gonna be using time, and you can see this little sand timer, and time basically means we're discarding cards. So at the start of the game, before we do anything, this says spend an extra five time before your first turn on each floor. So we're gonna spend five time at the start of the game. At the start of each turn, we also spend two time. So we've already burned through seven cards. And now we're on our first turn, we've spent two time, and we're gonna explore, which means we're gonna take four cards, and we're gonna put them face down on the table. We have no idea what's under these. They could be anything. They could be creatures. They could be relics. Both of those things you have to fight with and you're using dice. There are three types of dice. There are blue, yellow, and pink. They effectively all work the same, but they're strength, agility, and your magic. Um, there's also black dice, which are wild, which you don't get very often. You have white cubes, which are potions, and we've got one potion, and we can get more potions. Potions allow us to heal, and they might allow us to do other stuff if we unlock it. And we've got our characters. As I say, because we're playing two players, we have got two characters. The archer over here has one attack, two agility, one magic, and three health. The paladin has two attack, two magic, no agility, and three health. If either of our characters take three damage, then we lose the game. They've got heroic feats, which are super powerful bonus things they can do once a turn. They've also got skills that they can do once a turn. But we'll kind of come on to that. So we finished the first turn, we put the four cards down, we can't turn over any cards, so that's the end of the turn, we're going to go to the next turn. And this is one of those games where you're not kind of doing player one, player two, player one, player two, they're just going all together, they're having a discussion, what do we want to do? This turn we're going to enter a room because you can only explore to have four cards down, there's no point in exploring again. So let's enter a room and let's turn one over at random and we find a spiked log that slams us in the face. So now our choice is simple. We can either encounter the spiked log or we can flee. Fleeing just means we leave it there and we have to come back later. So we really want to encounter stuff. This game is a race against the clock. These decks run out so quickly. Once you've gone through it three times, you get to a boss and you need to be strong enough. So encounters are the way to get stronger. I think that we need to go for it. Now, how this works is we choose. So a relic, which is what this is, it has the green symbol, gives us two options. We can either do clobber logs, which means we spend two time and we have an easy option, or we can do dodge logs, which means that we don't spend time, but we need to get a higher number. If we fail, then we take damage and we lose time. And as well as achieving the thing on the card, we also have to achieve the left-hand column for the um, relics. So as we go down floors, more and more stuff will get revealed. Now, the choice is simple. I can either go for clobber logs and roll three dice and I'll need to get a two and we'll need to get eight. Or I can go for dodge logs and I'll need to get 14 and two and I'm only rolling two dice. So that seems like a terrible plan. Clobber logs is gonna be hard enough as it is. So I'm gonna discard two time to try out clobber logs and I'm going to, oh my goodness, I can really barely struggle to say that. And I'm just gonna roll the three yellow dice. Um, that's perfect. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So I'm, you have to put the dice on the green ones first. So I have to cover off that too. That allows me to come over here to put the 12 there. This means that I've completely, um, let's try not to knock over the dice. I've completely covered everything over. I take no damage. The dice come back and I've avoided the um, spiked log and I can now take this as loot. Now I can either choose to take it for the XP at the top right and put it up here. This would give us three experience points and we need six to level up. I can take it as an item and get some extra dice, which I can roll for one character, or I can take it as a skill, which I can put underneath. So this skill means if I roll a four blue, I can gain four attack and four agility and then increase one dice by one. So that's effectively saying I can turn one blue four into a yellow and pink four and then increase the dice by one. So that seems really powerful, but equally, 
Just having more dice is really useful as well. Now you can only have one item and one skill per character. So if I choose the skill or the item, then that's them done for the time being. And I'm I'm really torn. Actually, um, that's tough. I mean, our paladin does have two blue dice and I feel like this could be useful. So I'm gonna take this as the skill. I might live to regret that. Um, as you can see in the bottom right, this has the attack symbol. So that means I can only use this in fights. I can't use it whilst I'm dealing with relics. But the first relic is done. I've got a skill and now it's the next turn. So I'm gonna take two more cards and now I can either explore and take a fourth card or I can enter a room. There's no point of exploring because I'm only gonna get one card, it's not efficient. So I'm gonna enter a room and find a fire elemental, which is a beast of a creature. Um, as you see, it has four XP, and the heroic ability of the Paladin is if you find something that has four XP, then you get to put a black die on here. You can only ever have one on here at a time, but then I can use the black die um, if I would like to. Now, black die are wild, so effectively you can use it for any three colors, so that's kind of helpful. The question is, am I gonna fight this creature? I mean, I take damage just for fighting it, which is a pain. I mean, that's horrific in itself. Um, Oh my god, um, but what have we got? We've got three blue die, um, and we've got a black, so that's four, and we'd need to get 17, 20 from four, so we're going to be rolling an average of five per dice, so we're definitely going to fail something, which means we'll probably lose some time and probably lose some health. Um, the three up here is going to be easy, because we've got loads of yellow die. This three and a six might be hard as well, because we've only got two pink die, um, but I think I'm going to go for it. Like one of the things with this game is you you have to level up, and if you don't level up and don't get more dice, you're not going to be able to do stuff. And the penalty of losing is you lose health and you lose time, but you don't you do still get stronger. Whereas if you just run away, you're losing time and you're not getting stronger. So I'm going to fight the fire elemental here. Um, but my archer is going to use their heroic feat. So I can spend two time, which allows me to basically take two black die at the start of the encounter, and I'm going to roll the two die. I can then discard one of those dice and keep the four before anything else happens. I'm then going to roll the other dice for the archer. I'm going to roll the dice over here for the paladin. But before the encounter, place one damage on a hero. I can choose which hero takes the damage. So I'm going to put the one damage over here on the archer because my paladin doesn't want to take damage. My paladin rolled two ones, two twos, and a three. I'm giving the damage to the paladin. I mean, screw you. Uh, the archer over here has done a wonderful job for us. <sighs> okay, so yellow three comes over to here. Um... Oh, okay. This is not ideal, to say the least. So pink three can go on the three. Pink six can go on the six. Um, oh, my goodness. We really, really, really don't want this. Um, <laughs> like, this is going to hurt us a lot. Um, I don't think there's much we can do. So... My ability is to allow um, this character to increase one die, yellow die um, by one. So I'm going to change that two into a three. And now what you can do is you can, um, I'm going to put the, oh, I don't know if this is going to help. Is it going to help? Um, I can take the three and I can take the five. So you can take two die and you can then exchange them for a black one of um, the lowest color. So I'm basically taking that as a three. I can now use that black three. And I've got the four, haven't I? Which I rolled earlier. I forgot about that. Maybe it's not too bad. The four plus the five plus the two, that's going to bring, bring me up to um, nine, ten, eleven. I can put the three onto there. So then I'm only losing the six. So that's not too bad. That's better than it felt like it was going to be, actually. Um, Hooray! So, I'm going to take one damage, and this damage is going to go to the archer. We are going to lose one time, because we didn't manage to fill that box. But that's not too bad. It could have been much, much worse. And then we're going to push the dice back to all the people. All of our black dice go away. Um, we're going to get the two yellow dice back over here, one blue dice over here, two pink here, one blue here, one yellow here. And now we're going to take the reward. And the question is, what are we going to do with it? Are we going to take the dice? 
and the health, because having extra health in this game is really useful. Oh, we can take the skill. Gain, um, a, so basically, every time you gain a blue um, six that you can use as mana for a spell. Now, this would be great for the Paladin, because it basically means this would trigger for free every turn. But I can only have one skill unless I've leveled up. So that becomes a real sacrifice for me. Um, oh, I think, though, I think I'm going to... Oh, I want more dice, I want more health, but I want that free ability. Um, I mean, that could be so powerful. If I had that with that, I'd be getting two dice every turn of fours. But I don't, and I've got to level up, and I've not even gained any experience points yet. So I think that it's time just to take that as an extra die for now. It's going to give me four health. It's going to give me the extra die. Um, so... Oh, I don't know. That might have been a mistake. It's the end of the turn, so time is going to move on um, as I go to the next turn. I've got two cards left. I'm going to turn one over, and it's a bear trap. Okay, that's worked out well for us, because we did just get an extra pink dice, um, and that's a bit better for us. So the question is, we've got three pink die. Are we going to gamble and go for the 11 plus the 2, which means we need a two and then we need a five and a six or are we just gonna go for the six and the two and i think that's safer i mean we don't want to lose the six we don't want to lose like health like losing free health at this point is going to be bad i think losing that extra free time is fine so we're going to go for disarm them we're going to try and disarm the bear traps we need to get six and a two. Oh wow that's not what we wanted at all because these ones you can't stack up you can only put one die on them so i have to put the six on there which means i fail completely at this one which means we're going to take two damage um and we lose time so we actually lost four time and took two damage both of our characters are nearly dead um that has not gone well for us that has really not gone well um yeah so this one doesn't have a skill this one has a potion so this basically means i could put it here to get an extra potion and having an extra potion means um that by default we can heal ourselves so this potion would allow us to use one of the cubes or all three blues now that could be really handy and it does also give us an extra potion for learning it but maybe just getting a blue die would be good as well um Oh, I think getting an extra potion is going to be good. Like, just getting those extra potions is really powerful. So now we've got two potion tokens, and we can learn a new potion. So we can use this new potion now. Um, oh, okay, this is not going well. <laughs> really not going well for us. Um, we're losing two time because we're on the next turn. We're going to turn over the fourth card, and we've got a shadow. Okay. Oh, okay. Can we do this? I mean, arguably, yes. We've got three blue dice. We've got lots of yellow dice. Um, and we've got three pink die. I don't think that this is going to be such a problem. Um, I don't want to fail it. I really don't want to fail it. So I'm going to... I'm going to spend two time with the archer. And again, I'm burning through that time to use the heroic ability to roll the two blacks. I'm going to keep the four, get rid of the two. We're then going to roll the other die. And it's awful. Three ones. But my part, um, skill, your partner may re-roll any of their ones. Um, you can do it once. So we're going to pick those up. We're going to roll them. And we got two more ones. Oh, wow, this is not how you do well in this game. Um, so we need to put a three on this one over here. We need to get this green done here, which is 10. And um, we need to put a five on here. We need to put a six on here. We need to put a three on here. And we're left with a four. We've got the four. It's gone. It's gone okay. We've done it. We have successfully beaten the shadow. Um, so actually... It's, that was okay. I felt like rolling five ones wasn't exactly um, the way to do this, but that's gone out okay. Um, so the shadow, what are we going to do? We could take the free XP. I mean, maybe we need to level up. Um, we could take the extra die um, to get us our fourth pink die. Um, 
or we can take the skill, but this skill is basically the same as this skill here. Well, it is the same as this skill here. Um, I don't think we want to do that just yet. So, and we do need to remember we have it. I mean, maybe that would have been useful. I keep forgetting. I think we're going to take the free XP. Um, I need to level up. I need to get to a point where we can level up and have two skills and start getting more stuff. So next turn and time moves on. And this time we're just gonna have to bring out four cards. We've run out of cards. And you can see we have nearly worked our way through this deck. We've not leveled up yet. We've gained one skill. We've gained one item. That's not too good. Um, next turn we're gonna burn two cards. We're gonna turn something over and we find flame statues. Huh, okay. So we could try and dodge them which means we need 16 pink or three die, which is not looking good. Or we could disenchant them, which means we need 10 blue or three die, which is, oh, again, I mean, our chances are not great with that. I mean, a two and then a, yeah. I mean, a t oh, but it's gonna cost three times to even try it. I think that we scrap it, I think we don't bother, I think we go to the next turn, I think we burn two time, I think we turn something over and hope it's better. It's a plague rat, we have to be able to kill a rat, come on. Um, X equals four per open door, including this one, so this needs eight pink. Oh my God, <laughs> it's not a door, it's a statue. Ah, um, we need eight pink and then <laughs> we need another three pink and another five. So we need 16 pink. Oh, what? And all this blue is not helping us, but we do have this ability to turn pinks into things. So I think we go for it. Um, I'm not feeling good about it. As always, I seem to always say that. So I'm going to take two time. I'm going to roll two black die over here for our archer. We're going to keep the six. We're going to get rid of the four. I'm going to roll my other die. And then, okay, this is looking a little bit better. Um, I can re-roll my ones once because of this ability over here. Um, so that's looking good. We've rolled a lot of ones over here, which we can't re-roll. They're not looking so good. Um, but we can put one of them up by one, so that's okay. We can put that to a two. We don't need the blues, we know that, so we can spend one of these to gain a four of a yellow, and we could get um, a four of a pink, so that's not too bad. And then we can push one of them up by one, so I can push that up to a five. Um, I don't know if we actually want to do that, but that seems like a good option. So what have we got? We have got to get um, eight onto the pinks here. So what's the best way to get eight? We've got six, 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 three, four. So that's not over great. Um, I think the three should go on the two just to block that off. Um, I guess the four and the six make 10, which isn't greatly efficient. Um, we could put the six on the five. We could put the five on the three, the five on the five, the five on the three, and the six on the three. So actually that's worked out okay for us. That's absolutely fine. We've managed to beat it. We've had a lot of extra dice left over. So that's not too bad. Um, still, I feel like we've burnt through so much time and we've really not achieved um, huge amounts yet. So. Oh, okay, our playground is dead. Do we want the pink dice? I mean, we could get two XP, but two XP isn't actually going to help us because two XP is just going to put us on five that doesn't level us up, so it's not going to be great. So I think for the time being, let's just get another pink die. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Having more die is always good in this game. Um, next turn, we're going to burn through two cards, and we're at the end of the deck. So this means now we can keep here as long as we like, but eventually um, we have to move down. And any time we spend now means that we're gonna put tokens on here. For every three tokens, we take damage. We've got two damage taken here. So one more damage on the Paladin and the Paladin's dead. Um, the Archer's on two out of four. So the Archer can take one more damage. We do have some potions. So, ah, uh, okay. We're gonna turn over one of these cards or are we gonna go for this one? Do we try and go for the 14 or 4 dice? Um, well, 14 plus that is 16 or 4 dice. There's an average of 4 per die. That doesn't sound like good odds. So we're going to take one of these two cards. Let's take this one. It's the rune puzzle. That's not too bad. Um, um, so, well, 6 of the blue. 
We can definitely do the blue, but it will take two time. The yellow, um, I don't think so. So let's go for the blue. We're going to use two time, which means we're going to put two tokens on here. Another token now, and we're going to take damage. We're now going to roll our blue die, and we need to get a two and a six. This went so wrong for us last time. What is wrong with me? Why am I so bad at rolling die? What is five? Oh, come on. Okay. That has not gone well. So <laughs> we take one damage for this, which has to come onto the archer. And then we take three time, which then puts that onto five. So we take three of them off and we do one damage to a character. Now, I can use an emergency potion to take two damage off the archer and then take that final damage. So I'm not going to die, but we've used a potion and we didn't really achieve much. Um, I don't even know what we're going to do with this. I mean, we we could change this into a yellow die over here, or we could take the potion, re-roll all your ones and twos and roll the black. That could be good. I mean, we could get another potion over here. Um, but these potions aren't making us stronger. They're keeping us alive for sure. But the XP isn't enough to level us up. So I, I think, I think we're just going to take another potion. And I don't feel great about that. But that's where we're at. That's what we have to do. So what I'm going to do is we're now going to move to the next floor. So these cars get discarded. These come over here. This comes out. And we're just going to move this up a little bit. So now we're on to the next floor. Um... So from now on, as well as having to achieve um, the top one, we also have to achieve the bottom one. And I mean, my goodness, we were struggling to achieve just the top one. So I am not sure um, we're, we're further away through. We've done one deck. We're still level one. We've gained some items. Um, we've gained a skill. We've gained some potions. Maybe we're okay. At the start of each round, we need to spend five extra time. Um, we also spend two time for our turn. So we're through seven cards before we start. We're then going to put out our next four cards. And we just have to hope that, um, that something good comes from this. I think um, as the potions are coming out, I'm just going to move this up a little bit um, so we can get a little bit more room for these cards. Um, there we go. And... Next turn, we're going to burn two more time. And now we have to open a door and we have to find something we can just kill. Something simple, something easy. It's a bandit. Um, oh, it's a bandit with a lot of pink. What is up with all this pink? Um, oh, um, I mean, we have to try. I think we have to kill it. If we get this, it's going to put us in a good position. So we're going to go for it. But I think the archer, as always in tradition, is going to spend two time. It's going to roll two black and it gets two ones. Ah, oh, we're going to roll the other die. And we just have to hope that something good comes out of it. We can re-roll our ones. Um, oh, how? How is this? So unfortunate. Um, well, we've got the eight. We've got the three. We've got the five. Um, oh, 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 it's, it's gone well. It's gone better than I thought it had. Um, um, can we do the other three? No, maybe. Um, no, no, no. Um, huh. Well, I can use this to increase that to a two. And, um, see, this is a problem. This blue die is from the archer, which means this blue die is from the paladin. So if I use the archer's blue die over here, then the paladin can use this blue die to then get this ability, which gives them a four yellow and a four pink, which then allows me to cover this one over here. So the dice do matter. I've done it. Yes. Okay. We are back. We are in the game. I was, I was, I was totally down and out there, but I actually feel like we're starting to come back. We've got some hope. We've managed to defeat it. Um, the black dice and the time, who cares? Um, 
we're gonna put this over here, which puts us onto six XP. So because we're on six XP, these get removed from the game, and now we go to level two. Going to level two is great because it means that we get an extra black die, which we can use for the rest of the game. It means we get an extra potion, which we can use for the rest of the game. And now we can have two items and two skills. We are feeling good, we are feeling strong. We are feeling like we are in control of this now. Um, it's possibly time we did some healing, but I don't mind. We're going to burn two more time. Um, we're going to turn over this door. We have found a beetle. We are going to destroy this beetle. Um, what's going to happen with this beetle? Um, Survivor, if any armor boxes are empty, discard this instead of looting. Okay, so we need to block off all of these. But I think that's okay. I think that we can totally trash this beetle. I do. We What have we got? We've got four pink dye. Um... Pink shouldn't be a problem. We've got two yellow, three yellow, shouldn't be a problem. Blue, I think we're just going to go for it as is. I don't think we're going to use the extra stuff. We do have our black encounter die over here, which we can use. Um, let's go for this. And I can re-roll my ones. And we are looking to be strong. That is a good roll. Um, the, the black dies. I mean, come on, guys. This is not funny anymore. We've got this one. We've got the three over here. We've got the five over here. Um, we've got the six over here. We've got the four. We've got the four. Um, what was that? That was the four, yep. And we've got a five yellow and a three yellow over there. So this allows me to increase one by one. That can come over here. And then I can use this to do this one once again which allows me to get a four yellow and a four pink and increase a yellow or a die by one that gives me the five. The beetle is destroyed. Um, we don't even need to worry about taking the extra stuff. We have done it. We have destroyed the scurrying little beetle, which, you know, it's a big deal because so far we have struggled with everything we found. Um, but the beetle has been destroyed. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the extra blue die. We are limited on our blue die, um, he says. I mean, we've got three blue, three yellow, and four pink. So we could take this, which means discard three pink die to get a black, which I don't want to do. Two XP isn't going to help us. So I think we're just going to take that extra dice. Um, makes sense for us to give it to the paladin because the paladin's got this ability over here. So I'm going to put this one over here. Um, I'm going to kick this over here. I'm also going to um, roll the black die from the encounter stuff with the archer. So we can re-roll the um, it under the wands for the support aura. We're on to the next turn. We're going to take two more things. And now let's turn over a card. What have we got here? We've got a flame statue. I remember these from last time. Um, these were not fun for us. So... Can we do the 14? Now we've got one, two, three, four pink die, and we've got um, a black die. So we do have five black die. But the problem is, is that over here, um, we need to get two and six of that color as well. So now we need to get eight, 22 or five dice. I mean, that is not gonna happen. Um, but let's go for the eight blue. I mean, can the eight blue happen though? I mean, we've got four die again, and we're gonna be like eight, 14, 16. Um, that's four per blue. I just don't think we can do it. I think we have to scrap the statues. They are just burning us up too much. And now we've got bear traps, bear traps. Um, six pink, six pink is doable. 11 pink. Or do we take the gamble? We could archer up and use two times. So if we do disarm, we're going to use three times. So we could use the archer's heroic feat to use two times to get the black dice. If we get the black one, that's going to give us four plus the extra one, five, six dice to get 11, 70, 18, 19. That is just over three per thing. Oh, I think that we can do it. I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going for it. We've had such bad luck with our rolls. There is no way this could go worse. I mean, we're going to go for it. We're going to keep a three. It's a good start. We're going to roll the dice. We're looking for sixes. Huh. That adds up to six. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we can do the two. Um... I mean, what's this? Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we've got this. That's fine. Um, I guess it's okay. I, I mean, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
That blocks that off. I mean, we're going to take one damage. So we're going to take one damage on the archer. We knew we were going to take damage. Um, I shouldn't be so sad about it, I guess. Um, that is disappointing. I felt like we were in a better place than we were. But we've built it, beat it. Um, now, what are we going to do with it? Um, so I can get another potion, and we are getting a lot of potions, so that is going to help us with some healing. Um, spend two time before an encounter, skip to claim loot. <gasps> so this is basically an instant win card. That is interesting. But do I want more dice? I mean, we're struggling. You've seen how much we're struggling with rolling dice. And I think that we need to be rolling more. I really do. As much as the potion would be nice, as much as the XP would be nice, I think... We do need more dice, and I, I feel like this is a mistake. I feel like we've over-pushed into the pink realms, but we need to do it. Now. Oh, okay. Next turn, we need to spend a cube to heal up our archer, because <clears throat> if you use the um, potion at the start of the round, you can heal three damage. If you do it during, then you only heal two damage. So we're at three, that's our peak damage, so that's the most efficient way to do it. So now it's the next turn and we're going to burn two cards. And the question is, do we go for these flame statues? We've now got one, two, three, four, five, six pink dice. I mean, we can get 22 or six pink dice. Surely, surely we can do that. Or we go for random cards. But, ah, oh, ah. I feel like we're going for it. Let's do it. We can beat this. We have got this. We're going to burn, as always, we're going to burn two cards. We're going to roll two black dice. We've got a five. We are well on our way. We have got the high roll. The archer is going to roll, what? Twos and ones again. The paladin is twos. This is so unfair. Um, oh, so unfair. So let's have a look. So the two goes over there. So 14. So 6, um, 11. Um, well, I guess this would be 14, but we want to have the 6 because we need to put the 6 there. So what does this add up to? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have just beaten those statues. Oh, that really hurt. But we have achieved it we have beaten the statues and that is important for us right now because i was starting to lose some hope do we take the xp or do we take the skill rolling a pink becomes two yellow now we've got a lot of pink and discarding a pink for two yellow could be really good that's effectively allowing us to switch one die for another two in a round which could be really powerful um I don't have any skills, so I think I think that's the route that I'm going to take. I think that we're going to take that for the archer. Um, next turn, we spend two time. We're going to get four cards out. We're nearly at the end of the second floor, and I don't know how this is going for us. Next turn, we're going to take two cards out, and we're going to reveal one. Which one are we going to reveal? Let's go for this one. The force wall. This is a force, so finally the paladin gets something for the heroic stuff. I think that's the first four we've had, so... Ah, oh, right. This is not easy. Um, wow. Okay. So, I mean, this is 14 blue. I mean, there's no way on earth we're going to do 14 blue plus 6 plus 2. I mean, that would be 22 blue off 4 dice, potentially 5. The pink, though, is 11, 17, 19. But we're going to burn 3 time to do that. I think... The force wall we have to ignore. I think we just go for the next one. Um, let's turn something else over. Let's hope it's good. It's an ice elemental. Um, this takes free time just before you start the fight. And it's all yellows and blues. There is no pinks in there at all. Um, so our pink is going to be absolutely useless for us. Oh. But we do have our pink for two yellows, which could be really good. Let's go for it. We're spending three time, right? We're fighting the Ice Elemental. It's the end of the thing, so the other two time are going to become tokens. We're now going to roll everything, and I don't want to use the extra um, die because it will take damage. I am going to use the Paladin's Heroic one, though. So let's go for this. Come on, Paladin. 
Please stop rolling ones. <laughs> Come on, Archer. What are you going to get? Ones can be re-rolled now because we're in combat. That's a six. That's looking a little bit better for us. So I'm going to spend the free um, pink to roll two yellows over here using this ability. This is going to give us a two and a six. Um, what have we got? Where are we at? Is this looking okay or not? I mean, the six and the six is going to give us the 11. Um... We need to have, we can use the um, plus one on this die, turn it into a three, which we can put up there. Um, we've got a blue six, which we a five. We can cover the five over here. Um, we've got a black six, which we can put onto here. We've got two pink fours that we can trade out for a black four, which is good so far. Um, we've got two pink sixes which we can trade out for a black six which is looking good so far and then we need the yellow three we can do that we have destroyed the ice elemental yes yes okay okay we have done that we have killed something fairly strongly um and it was wow finally finally some good news so let's just reset our dice back out this is going to be four pinks over here one yellow one blue we've got a black from the um, team bonus from leveling up we've got three blues over here we've got a pink we've got two yellows and i think these ones are not in so let's check two yellows one pink three blues four pinks one yellow and one blue what are we going to do with our ice elemental huh so we can either take four xp we can take a pink and a heart, which effectively means we're gaining a health because we we don't want to get more pink dice, so we'd upgrade that just to gain one health, which might be good. Or re-roll one of your dice or increase one of your dice by one. Oh, that could be good. I mean, being able to re-roll one is probably better than one health, isn't it? I mean, re-rolling a one, especially with the amount of ones that I've been re-rolling. Um, oh, okay. Let's go for that. I think that's what we're going to go for. I don't think the extra health is going to help us. But then, do we want the 4 XP so we can level up? No! Go for the skills. Become stronger. Reduce the probability of losing. It's the end of the round, so we're going to put these over. We're going to shuffle these up, and we're going to go to the third floor. Okay. Time for the final floor before we end up... Um, Oh, fighting the boss. So let's just move these up. These cards are starting to fill up all of the table space. Um, we are now coming to the third floor. And we're going to spend five time plus two for that first turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards discarded. So we're going to bring four cards out. And I, I'm i not feeling confident at the moment. I'm not going to lie. This is not... The, the way this wants to be. I mean, we've got a lot of dice. We've got some skills. We've got some potions. Maybe we're going to be okay, but all oh, combat is going to have 10, 10 yellow just before we even get in there. And we've not gotten any yellows. Um, Next turn, discard two, turn over a card. It's a skeleton. Ah, oh, where are all our yellow dice? I mean, to beat this, we need 5, 11, 14, 24, 27 yellow. And we've got 3, 18 we can do. Oh, that's going to burn a lot of time if we fail. But I don't think it helps us. We don't really want the potion. We don't need more pink dice. And we don't need 2 XP. So let's skip it. Let's go to the next one. Turn over another card. Hope it's a little bit better. It's a Wraith. This is a little bit more on the blue side, but there's still a lot of yellow. But this would give us yellow and it's free XP and we get this bonus. So, you know, I think we're going to have to go for this one. Um, I think, oh, but if we go for it, one item becomes XP, which means we're going to lose an item before we even start. Um, oh, oh, can we do it? I don't know. Um, I think... I think we have to. I think we have to try. Um, let's ditch this one. This can become XP. Goodbye, Plague Rat item. Hello to XP. Wraith, please don't destroy us. Um, that means that we're going to actually lose one of our dice, doesn't it? So we're losing our pink one over here. Um, that's not brilliant. We are going to spend two time for our archer. Our archer, as always, is going to roll two dice and get two sixes. 
we get a three and a two. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. We're going to roll these ones. We're going to re-roll those three ones because who wants to get three ones? We're going to get more ones. Um, we're going to roll over here for the Paladin. Okay. So this is going to be a lot of thinking to get this right. So we need a five yellow. We need a nine blue. And then we need a 10 yellow. Um, so if we put those there for the time being, that gives us our 10 yellow. Then the question becomes, can we be more efficient? We could, what can we do? What can we do? Um, this is really tough. I think we take our five blue back and we burn it into here. And then once we burnt it into here, that gives us a yellow and a pink that we can roll. That is not at all what we wanted from our yellow or pink. Ah, that is not at all what we wanted from our yellow or pink. So we can add these two blues here to make this a 10. Um, we can now... Use this one pink here to roll two yellows. And that's giving us a three, which we can put on here. We have got, the time is less damaging than damage. Um, so we do have a black six that we can put on something. Um, oh my goodness, where do we want to go with this? Um, I mean, this is two damage over here. This is two damage over here. This is not looking promising for us. Um, I mean, this allows us to push one of these ones up by one. That could become a two. Um, actually, no, before I push that up. Oh, yes. This does allow me to increase one of my die by one. But is there anything that's useful for? Not at the moment. Well, well, I could push this up to a two. And then I could use this ability to push that up to a three, which then could put that on there, which will help a little bit. And then I can re-roll one of my dice. Um, I can re-roll this dice um, using this ability, and we get a one. That's not the one we were looking for. So I'm going to put this over here. And what are we at? We are at... Five blue, which we can't do. Um, that's two, three damage and a time we're going to lose. So we're going to lose a time. We're going to take three damage. Oh, three damage is just going to destroy our archer all the way. Um, oh. Okay, well, I mean, that's it, right? That's, that's all we can do, I think. Um, so the two yellows come back over here. One black over here, four pink back over here, one yellow, one blue, all these extra dice just coming back off. Um, I mean, I feel like we traded up quite well then, but it just did not go well for us. It did not go well. Um, but we do get this reward. And I think that getting this extra yellow dice is gonna help us. I think that, I mean, we could possibly have gone for the extra XP, but getting the extra yellow dice at this point is probably where we need to be. Um, I'm not feeling confident. Um, so next turn, we're gonna have to use one of these to heal up our archer because we're so out of health right now. Um, now we need to, ah, oh, next turn, two time. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn over one of these cards. Which one are we gonna turn over? I mean, they're all gonna kill us at this point, I'm sure. It's a goblin. Um, X per open door, so that's gonna be eight. Um, it's got some pink on it. So this feels a little bit more doable than the last one, maybe. Um, I think we're going for it. I think we're going straight out. The question is, so we need eight, 18, 21, 26, 27, 28, 29 yellow off three dice. Huh. So I think, again, we have to burn our two time. Like, we just, we have to do it. We roll the two blacks for the archer. We discard the one. We keep the six. Now the archer's going to roll all of the dice over here. Um, 
the three ones are going to get re-rolled. And this is looking good. This is looking like a better set of rolls. I mean, we keep getting those ones, but that's fine. Um, we can cope with a few ones. So let's look at what we're at. We need to get uh, 10 yellow over here. So that's our 10 yellow um, from the archer side. We need to get, um, oh wow, okay, so we need to get eight more yellow over here. Um, I mean, this two and this six, that could be putting us to eight. Um, we could use the, the, push this up to a five, which could put that onto the five. Um, what else have we got over here? We need to get a five. We've got the five there. That's not too bad. Um, we could put the six onto one of these. So we do need to get a pink four. Um, so we could use this. I mean, we don't need any more blues. So we could use this to get a yellow four and a pink four. Um, that would give us the pink four for this. The yellow four could go onto that. Um, we can then push one die up by one, but I don't know if that's going to help. Um, we can re-roll one dice, so we can do that. That gives us a three, and then we could trade the two threes for a black three, which we can put onto here to complete it. Yes, we've got this. We know what we're doing. We are so sorted now. Um, okay, we've, we're doing it. We're going to win, guys. We have got this sorted. I am... Oh, oh yes. We have totally, totally got this sussed. We are going to achieve victory. Um, okay, so three yellow, three blue. That's that one sorted. Four pink, one yellow, one blue. That's that one sorted. Yes. Um, okay, what are we going to do with this? So we could get um, three. And three blue is rolling a black. Now that could be interesting. Um, or we could get two XP. I mean... We've got so little left now, like getting another 6 XP is not going to happen. Um, so do we want yellow, what do we want dice wise? Do we want to get more yellow and ditch a pink? Um, I mean the pink aren't proving to be super useful for combat. So more yellow is certainly going to be more useful than pink. I think we've overgone into pink. Um, it worries me slightly, but I think getting that extra yellow could be good. Um, but then a free blue to get a black. But I've only got one blue dice over here. And I don't want to get rid of any of the paladins. We're not going to level up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to switch this one out. Um, which will give us two more XP. And I'm going to switch this one in. Which will give us a yellow dice instead of a pink dice. So goodbye pink. Hello yellow. I should say when you um, switch out equipment and get rid of it. It becomes XP. So that's not too bad for us. Next round we're going to turn this over. So maybe now we do want to push to try and level up. Um, we're going to turn this and hope. Oh, it's another force wall. Oh. Ah, feel my pain. Feel my pain. Feel my pain. There's no way we can do it. Like, it's 14. And then 5, 6, and 2. Like, we've got 4 dice. There's no way we can do that. It's a waste of time, but we're going to have to just burn two more, and we're going to have to just... Oh, I shouldn't have looked at that. I'm going to shuffle these back up. Um, we're going to put two more cards down, and then we're going to go to the next turn. So we're going to burn these over. I really, really, really need to hope that we end up with something we can kill. We really need to choose one of these two cards, and it needs to be good for us. It really needs to be good for us. It's a cave-in. Okay, cave in, cave in, cave in is six yellow for two time. I mean, six yellow for two time is going to be expensive, um, but we can definitely do the dismantle if we go for that. The pinks, I don't think, I think we're going for the cave in. I think that we have to go for the cave in here. Um, I think we have to dismantle it, which is going to cost us two time, and we just have to pray. We have to pray that we can beat this. Um, oh, come on, come on. Oh, we should have got a black die for the um, fourth wall, because it's a four XP. So that's that's going to go on there, but when we can't use that for now. Um, so, <sighs> these dice rolls, threes and twos and ones. Um... Oh, we have to get this. Um, so, 
five, um, two, um, six, and what's that one? A six. <sighs> what's that going to do to us? One damage. Yeah, I think that's that's unfortunate, but we're taking one damage. Okay, so we've got one damage. Um, we're like we're right on death's door here. We're right on that line, but. We are going to get this card, and I think I'm going to take it for the skill because this basically turns any yellow dice I have into a six, and that feels so useful for me now. That feels so powerful. Um, next turn, we're going to turn this over, and we're going to put one token on for our two time. I think I'm going to just turn this card over. It's a boulder. Um, so the question is, can we... Uh, can we defeat the boulder or are we going straight for the boss? So the boulder's going to be, I mean, we have failed so badly, so badly up to this point. I mean, this card over this cave in was so much easier than this and we failed it. So I don't think there's any chance that we're going to be able to beat this boulder. Uh, I just don't want to try it. I'm too afraid to try it. So we're going to wrap it up. We're going to go to the next floor. Um, so what happens now? is this will turn over and this will become the boss fight and our dragon's cave will become a dragon. So let's bring the dragon down here. Oh my God, it's actually got a lot of pink. I did not expect it to have pink. We threw away a bunch of our pink. Um, you can't use your heroic feats against bosses. So um, how does this work? So basically the dragon is just a fight that we just do, but it's just over and over. So we keep going until one of us dies. Um, if we cover a box that has a skull, then he takes a damage and he's got six health. If we don't cover, um, if, you know, if we don't cover these things, we're going to die horribly. Um, black dice cannot be placed on these boxes. So the ability of this boss is you can't use black dice to do the damage to it. So effectively, um, he's got six health. I can only do a maximum of three damage to it in a turn. So we've got to do at least, um, oh, we've got to kill it like six times. So two rounds minimum um, if we manage to tick off all the boxes. And he's going to hit me for four, four, one, one, one. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, well, I cannot use this black die. So I'm just going to ditch it because it's not relevant. We don't want to get it confused. Um, I can't use my heroic one over here. So I'm going to use these dice and roll them up. It's not bad. That is not bad. One advantage with this one is you don't have to do the um, side cards anymore because it's just the boss. So in some ways, it's a little bit easier than it kind of appears. Um, I'm kind of having ghost fountain rolling then. I felt like the dice were still in my hand. Okay, so we've got the five, we've got the six and the five. Um, so that's okay. Now, what else can we do? I mean, we can put the six on here, um, and we can put the six on here. The question is, can we get the 16 and the 17? Um, maybe we should go crazy for abilities. Maybe we should, oh, okay. Let's go for our abilities. Like, we need to think about this properly. So I could roll, um, I could ditch one of these to basically get a six. That's fine, let's do that. Um, and I'll just put a dice on there to keep track of that. So I could roll one of my pinks to get two yellows. I don't know if that's going to help us enough. Um, so what have we got at the moment? We've got eight here for blue, and we've got um, five, 11, 12, 13 for yellow. So we need to get um, eight more blue and a bunch more yellow. So what are we going to do? Um, I can increase one of my yellows by one. I mean, I want to use this. Um, okay, so I'm going to re-roll a dice. I think I'm going to re-roll one of my dice. Um, or am I? No. I'm going to use this black six to activate this. This gives me a um, this gives me a yellow and a pink four, um, which could be useful. And then it allows me to increase one dice by one. And now I'm gonna use this, which allows me to either re-roll one dice or increase one dice by one. Um, oh, I'm gonna gamble it, aren't I? I'm gambling it. I am absolutely gambling this dice. It's gotta come out as a six. 
Oh, that's not good. Um, I don't know if this was the right move. It comes out as a two. That's not great. Um, I can use my plus one to push one of these up by one. I don't know if that's going to help too much. Um, what was this we needed? This was a five. This was a six. I mean, can I bring this off maybe? I could bring this six over here. Um, possibly. What are we on blue-wise? We're on um, seven, eight, nine, fifteen for blue. I don't know if we've got any way of achieving the blue now. Um, I think I've totally screwed this up. What was I thinking? Um, what have we got for yellow? We've got 6, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, I mean, this this does tick off all of our yellow. But what am I thinking? Is there any way we can do this? Um, oh, why? Why did I put this on here? Um, I think... I think that's it. I mean, we could do this. Can we do the 16? Um, 10, 13, 14, 15. So that gives us the 16. So basically, we don't cover this one, which means that we're going to take one damage. And um, he's now going to take... Yeah, so he's going to take two damage. So that's going to put two onto the dragon. But we are only going to... We're not going to kill it next round. We're going to have to last another round at least. So let's reset our dice back out. Um, wow, okay, that was, it's tougher than you think, you know, as you start to get these last little bits, you really do get down to, like, the nitty gritty, um, and, yeah, like, okay, let's go for it, um, I think that, like, we used the potion to get rid of our two, like, damage over here, um, and now we're really neck and neck up against this creature um okay let's do it let's go for it come on archer we need a good round this time that is not the good round we are looking for how is it so bad four twos and a one and then threes oh i think it's over guys i think I think that we need to learn to roll better dice. That's the problem here. We cannot roll dice. Um, oh, I think that's it. I think that we're totally, totally destroyed. I'm trying to find options. Um, I mean, we could put this over here. Uh, we could use this one to get a six. Um, I mean, the six could come over onto this for sure. That's fine, but... Oh, what have we got? We've got 9, 14, and we've got loads of yellow. Yellow is fine. Um, blue, maybe we just need to survive. Um, but we need a 5 pink. Um, so I have to spend this um, to get a yellow and a pink 4. And then I have to increase this to a 5 using that ability so I can block off that. I mean, that has to happen because we have to break those shields. Um, without breaking the shields, we can't do anything. So next, we need to mitigate as much damage as possible. So we need to do these. How do we do these? Um, 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 well, we can reroll dice or increase one by one. So we've got how much blue? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blue. So we need plus 4 blue. Yellow, we've got... Um, well, let's, let's stitch that off and get two more yellows, I guess. Um, like, we let's put that one on there. I don't know if the dice are limited or not. Let's see. They probably are, but again, I, I mean, I'm using it for the ability, so I don't know. I guess it's discarded and put back. Um, so we've got, well, we've got a six now for that, so that's fine. Um, 17, so that's 11, 15, 16, 17. Um, at this point, that is what, 8, that's 13, that's our, that's our 17, yeah? Um, let's see, we could, we've now got, for the blues, we've got 16, um, so 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We could turn these two over into a black 4. Um, 
and then that would give us 7, 8, 9, 14, 16. So that would give us the 16, um, and we're only going to take 2 damage. So that gets us to survive. Um, the question is, is there anything else I can do? I could... I mean, I could re-roll a dice. I guess I could use this and re-roll it and just hope that something incredible happens. Is that incredible? I don't know. Um, I mean, that would give us the 6 for that. So that puts us on 7, 12, 13, 14. Um, oh! How do I... Oh! Oh! We're one short. These we change for this black dice. 7, 12, 13, 14. We could change those into a 1. I don't think there's anything else we can do to increase that. Oh! We're one short. Oh, that's so infuriating. So we can't do it. We have to do... Um, we basically have to just block this one off. So that's 6. That leaves us with a 10. We can dump those in, which means we're going to do 1 damage to the dragon. And then he's going to do 2 damage to us. And now we don't have any more potions. So now we're going into basically the final round. Um, one of us is about to die. And it's probably <laughs> it's probably going to be me, but we'll see. I mean, we've got to basically get a purely clean house right now. Um, if we can get a perfect roll, which happens so much, as you can tell, um, then we'll be fine. But if we can't, we're screwed. So we've got three yellow, we've got three blue, we've got two yellow, three pink, one black, one blue. This is the final round. I mean, I can take one more damage, and then we are out. Um, and I've got to do three more damage to the boss. Um, okay. Come on. Come on. We can do this. It's not great. <laughs> but it's not terrible. This is good. This is looking okay. We can re-roll this. And it gets a one again. So... We might as well just dump that completely because we are sure we're not going to need that. And we're going to um, roll two yellows. And then we could just dump that to get the six. And we'll put one of these on there to show that that's done. So that's optimizes up a little bit here. So let's start placing. We've got our two pink fives here. Um, uh, but how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Okay, what else have we got? We've got... <laughs> we've got a yellow 6. Um, we've got, what, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I mean, that's our 17. I think I just knocked this over, but I don't know what it was, so I can't change it. Ah. Oh. Um, I mean, this would be... <laughs> oh, I wish I could go back and see what that was. I'm sure I just turned that dice over. But I don't know what it was. It was... I'm sh Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a 1. Um, oh, that's infuriating. Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 17. So, I mean, this would give us the 17 for there. And then the 16 is going to be 6, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, so, right, we need to use some stuff over here. We need to find a way to um, survive. If we, if we can clear off 22 blue, then we're going to be okay. Um, the question is, if we get rid of this, are we going to be... Because I'm thinking of putting this on here. So if we get rid of that, what's that going to leave us with? That's going to leave us with 4, 5, 6, 8. And then we could switch 2 over into this, which would give us 10 so that's not going to be good um we probably don't want to do that but i could i mean i could increase by one which would give us plus one so that'd be two five ten twelve sixteen so i can block off this and that but then i still have these two to deal with oh um well we can do this to increase one of our die by one. So maybe, maybe that's what we're going to have to do. Maybe we increase one of these by one. So this is four, eight, eleven. Um, so maybe we can try and save this for something. Um, 
Right. Can we do this? Can we do this? Um, I mean, we could push this up to a 6 using this. But then we're not going to do the 16. And the 16 kills us. I could reroll the die. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just reroll this one. And I hope for a 6. 5. Okay. So let's just block that off. Now what are we on? Now we've got 14, 16 with that. And that leaves us with 1. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is that this is not good. <laughs> Um, 10, 16, 16. Can we get that 6? I'm sure we can do this. Um, oh, analysis paralysis. This is the final boss. This is the final turn. I need to kill it. I don't want to die. Um, oh, I'm thinking, I mean, if I put this on here, then that's going to allow me to get a 4 pink and a 4 yellow. And we'll be on, and it would allow me to push this up to a 6. But then that would put us on to three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and then we could change this into a three, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, I don't think we can do it. I think that's like, ah, uh, I don't think there's anything else we can do. I'm trying so hard to find a solution, but I'm sure everyone's looking and screaming at me. Um, so I think the five can go on here and then we take the yellow and they take the pink and bring them in as fours. We then turn this one into a six, which then goes onto there. And then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, And we can turn, oh, so close. This is definitely the right number, right? 8, 11, 17. Um, I mean, we could turn those into a black 2. We could turn those into a black 4. That would give us 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh. Is there... I don't think there's anything we can do. It's so frustrating. But I think that's it. I think that I just have to admit defeat um, and just basically go on the basis that we got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're one short um, of doing the damage. If we would got that one, then we could have survived at least one more round and brought him up to the two. But we didn't manage to do it. So... Oh, that's it. This is one deck dungeon, and um, this is a bit different to the usual playthroughs because, as you can probably tell, I, I was so into that, and I really wanted to achieve it, and I'm sure someone out there is going to be screaming, telling me how I could have done it, but I lost. One Deck Dungeon is a tiny game. It's a tiny deck of cards with a few things that doesn't take up much space. And it comes in the box. And I think it's pretty good. I mean, you can play it one player, obviously. You can play it two player. And if you buy two boxes, you can play it as a four player game by joining them together. So that's quite interesting as well. I'm probably going to pick up a second deck because um, I think that the four player of it could be fun. But if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them below. If I've made mistakes, then, well, it wouldn't be a video without mistakes, would it? So until next time, keep on adventuring.